Kiora Tefano. Thank you so much for the opportunity to be here today. I'm really thrilled to be presenting a new project that I've been working on for a few months only. And this is the first time I'm talking about it to an audience of this size. So bear with me. So the project is called Greater Than. And what we're working on is supporting organizations to become more human-centered, open, and collaborative by offering them software tools, but also services around practices and cultural tools to make this the new normal. And so we're doing this through the lens of everything that has to do with money and organizations. And that means things like budget planning, resource allocation, financial management, value, value flows. So let me take a step back. Why are we actually working on this? So I think many of us here often think about how can we make the most difference to solve global problems with the skills that we have? And I've made a choice to focus on the area of organizational development. And I guess the reason for that is that when you look around, our organizations are everywhere. Uh, they're a huge core driver of our economy. But also as individuals, all of us go to work and spend a huge amount of our time in the workplace. So when I think about how can we shift mindsets? How can we change behaviors? Starting in the workplace seems like a great starting point. And let's face it, our organizations and their structures, they're failing us. They're failing to address global problems. They're also failing us as individuals. There are so many statistics that show how disengaged people are in companies and how meaningless they feel. And they're not contributing to solving any problems. So the reason I found my way into this topic is actually through uh, an organization that I've been part of for the last five years called WeShare. And WeShare is a, is a distributed network. It's very many things. Um, I've heavily contributed to building this organization. But foremost, it really is an experimentation lab with new ways of living and working together. And so over the past five years, this international community has taught me so much about new ways that we can work as freelancers and teams and really transform the way organizations can function. And I've also been exploring this as a member of Inspiral, which is a New Zealand started and uh, based collective network of entrepreneurs working on things that matter. So from this starting point, um, maybe going back, so we share, as you can hear in the name, we actually started working on the sharing economy in the beginning. And so one of the key insights for me in doing this was we were all really excited. There was a lot of positivity five years ago when this really started. People thought that new sharing platforms that would enable us to share our resources and our houses and our cars would really make a big difference. But what became apparent very quickly is that if we put a little layer of sharing on top of hierarchical structures that don't change anything about how value flows and the people producing the value that actually capture it, we're not really making any difference. So this is an article I wrote uh, a few years ago about this topic. And it really is what led me to wanting to work more on what is the operating system of our organizations and how can we fundamentally shift the way they work and propose new models. So why do this from the angle of money? A lot of the experiments and different things I've done within WeShare over the past five years have really had to do with trying to distribute leadership because I've often been a team leader and wanted to really empower others that I'm working with. And one of the things that's really come up is that every time the topic of resource allocation and making financial decisions is really where it's been the hardest to be more collaborative and bring more people into sharing that responsibility. So it seems like both the hardest but also the most impactful area to start to try to bring more collaboration. So that's why I've decided to dedicate my time to working on this. And the real realization actually hit me when I was uh, last November with uh, my friend Sandra, who's here in the room, in Brazil on an island uh, off the coast from Rio. And I realized that there's so many things that I have that are such an amazing starting point to work on this. We, the WeShare community, the Inspiral community, all the wealth of knowledge and the experiments that we've run and the practices over the last years but also a real koha, 
which is the stewardship of a tool that has been used in the Inspiral network for several years already called CoBudget. And so me and my team, we have uh, received the stewardship over this tool, which is a collaborative resource allocation tool. And we're using this as our starting point to really work on this topic and get feedback and experiment with how groups can actually uh, allocate their resources more collaboratively and bring more people into financial decisions. So this is where we're starting. And I guess just to close, if you're interested in this topic, I'd love to discuss with you further. And for me, this maybe seems like a, a small little tool and you know, how can this develop and what can we do with it? But what I really hope this is the beginning of is creating more organizations that can really unleash all the human potential that is in them, enable people to thrive, be entrepreneurial, and really have a systemic understanding of the organization they're working in, the environment, the local communities around it, and make it possible for all of us as individuals to be able to solve the problems we see. So if you'd like to do that too, please talk to me. Thank you. Kia ora.